Hello everyone, today I would like to show you how a rain sensor works with Arduino and how it can be used to make a simple car wiper or an automatic car wiper. But before you do that, let me have a simple look at the sensor. Actually, this sensor is made up of two parts. It has this part, this is the sensing pad, and it has some copper traces, which copper traces act as variable resistor. And that resistor has a resistance which is inversely proportional to the amount of water that falls onto this sensing pad. So that means that the more the more water that is falling onto the sensor, it means the less the resistance. And that resistance is going to be interpreted by this comparator here. So you see this other part has it also has a potentiometer or adjusting the sensitivity of the rain sensor and can also help us during the calibration of the sensor. Let me show you how the calibration of the sensor is done. To calibrate the sensor, what you do, you simply have to connect this this other comparator to the Arduino board, as you can see. If you look closely here, this comparator has it has four fins. There's a VCC, there's a ground, there's DO and AO. VCC is the power. This ground is the ground. DO goes to the digital pin, and AO goes to analog pin. So you can either use a digital pin for the Arduino analog pin for depending on what you want it used for but in my case i'm going to be using the analog pin because i want to have more accurate results which will be good from these analog readings from the sensor here so remember these analog readings begin from 0 to 1023 after here we can be able to upload the code and we shall be able to see those values on the serial monitor then from those values you can be able to make ad adjustments depending on how you want to use your sensor okay let me now upload the code and then we see what happens on the serial monitor so the code is now uploaded i put a small paper here so that i can avoid the very bright lights here to affect the video i've also put some paper here and here because there are some bright lights which may affect the way the video is so i can open up my serial monitor and from the serial monitor you can be able to see that the battery will be 1023 when the pad is dry there's no water there in other words remember we've said that the resistance decreases as you put more water here so if i put some water droplets here the resistance goes on and from this resistance then you can be able to make the thresholds for the kind of application you want for example in this case i'm going to be making a simple automatic car wiper to be sensing the rain so you can adjust your sensitivity depending on the readings you get here. For example, in my case, I'm going to be reading that if it is, if the sensitivity is above 600, then that would be low. In other words, it be simple drizzle. If it is maybe from 400 to 600, that's medium. Maybe below 400, it is heavy rain or high. So in that case, that's how we do the calibration. So from these values, that's why you get the value that you're going to be using in the application that you want. This is the simple program we are going to use for our setup. It has a servo.h library for controlling the servo motor. Then the wire.h and liquid crystal i2c.h for controlling the i2c LCD display that I'm using. Actually, I've used this this I've used these libraries in several other tutorials before, so you can always make reference. The major issue here is to know that the sensor value is zero. In other words, we are going to connect our sensor to analog pin zero then we can be able to attach the servo motor to pin nine then the major issue is here because remember when we're calibrating the motor we got different values from the analog pin so those values we got from the calibration are the ones that are going to be able to enable us to know which value will indicate whether it is raining and which value will indicate if it's not raining or we can even manipulate those values so that you can the amount of rain so for example in this case when the value is above 800 then there is no rain if it is between 800 and 600 then it is just a simple drizzle or the amount of rain is low and then if it is between 600 and 560 then we have a medium amount of rain and if it is below 460 then it is raining hev heavily so we say the amount is high and in each case remember we said if it's raining slowly by slowly then it means the wipers will have to move slowly if it is raining very heavily then the wipers will have to move 
faster. So the movement of the wipers or the servo motor depends on the delay that you leave here. For example here, if the amount of rain is low, then of course you put a delay of 2000 which is 2 seconds then the delay will go on decreasing depending on the amount of rain as is here when the amount is high then the delay is only 100 meaning that the speed of the motor or the wifi is going to be also higher so that is the simple program you're going to be using in case you don't know how to use these other libraries and how to control the servo motor and the CD display you can always make reference to my other previous tutorials so now let's upload this to our motor and see what happens so now i will demonstrate how we can use this rain sensor to form a simple automatic car wiper or maybe you can even use it for controlling the skylight for example if you want the skylight to close automatically when it rains or if you want your car wipers to turn to clear the windscreen automatically when it rains or if you have like a window or something like that which you want to be controlled automatically when there is a sign or whenever it rains it will close automatically and in this case i'm going to have my rain sensor here then i use this motor to control the movement of the device i want to move for example in this case i'll if i want to move like a car wiper i'll be seeing that movement using this motor then i'll have this simple lcd display here to show me the amount of rain is here so I'll just put a simple paper cutting over this motor so that it can show properly how the movement occurs. So it's now uploaded and you can see it's an automatic car wiper. So if there's no rain, it means there's no water droplet on the sensor here. Therefore, there'll be no need for the motor to move. So this is what happens if, for example, you drop some few droplets of water on the sensor. For example, if I put a few droplets of water to be showing that it is now raining and now if the rain is low or the simple drizzle it means the motor will be moving slowly by slowly and if you increase the amount of rain putting more droplets as medium as you can see the speed of the motor goes on increasing slowly by slowly we keep on increasing Now, if the amount is high, it means now it is raining heavily. Therefore, the motor will be moving faster so that you can be able to move the water very fast. So, that's how you can see the motor now moving very fast. So, let's try to move the water and see what happens. If I remove the amount of water, so you can see now the speed is going on decreasing. Decreasing. So if it stops raining, there's no rain. So it's uh, it stopped now moving. So that's how the automatic wiper works with the help of the rain sensor and Arduino. Thanks for watching. Hope you have liked the tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like my other tutorials. Thanks for watching. So you see it is high now. It's now high, it means the rain is it's now raining very heavily, so it means now we need to it means the motor will be moving faster. So that it can clear the windscreen. So that's how the automatic car wiper.